Hi, I'm Pete with Up Body Warehouse, and today what we're going to show you real quickly here is how to rebuild the fuel door assembly at home on your 1979 to 1981 Trans Am. What we've done is we've taken off the fuel door assembly, and this latch is on um, to the driver's side uh, tail light lens. It's held in by two bolts. You remove the tail light from the car. There's going to be two bolts here. You undo those two bolts, the whole unit's going to slip out. Now what happens is, is from the factory you have two push pins that are installed right here and they either break or wear out and fall. When that happens, this portion of the fuel door stays steady while this side will flop around. When you go to open your fuel door, the fuel door on the car, what happens then is it'll hang down, it'll scratch your bumper. So what we've done with this one, we've taken it off the car by removing the two small bolts we took this unit completely apart, we bead blasted it, and then we reset it in a satin black. Now, the pins that the factory used, what it is is a, a medium barrel uh, width diameter shaft on it, and then it has a little curl over on the far ends, and what they did is they kind of dremeled it and turned it sideways. Those always rust off and break. What we found that works great are two roofing nails. And what you do is you slide the roofing nail in. One is going to go, as you see this small C-clip right here, it's going to go against the C-clip and that lip right there. The other one sits on the outside of it. Once you've installed the nails, and we use nails because they're a little heavier circumference, and this will make a tighter fit. Once you've installed one, we go one in from the top, one in from the bottom, and then take a set of needle nose pliers and simply put a bend on it once it exits the actual unit there. Just take it, bend it down. <clears throat> once you've got it bent down, what we'll do next is we're gonna take a Dremel tool with a cutting wheel and we're gonna trim this down to about, now, well, say a quarter inch above where it exits the body. Now, I wanna show you this now because we can do it. This would sit on the car like this. Your old one was floppy and loose. Watch this unit here. I'm going to hold it and it sits out steady. Do you hear how it clicked into place? There's tension put on that now and this is how it came from GM and it's all a matter of getting it back to where GM had it when it was new. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut off our two nails here and bring them down to nubs. Now what we've done, we took the Dremel and we trimmed down the ends of these nails here so obviously it, it doesn't stand out and look like some crazy homemade aftermarket nightmare. Um, it actually looks really good. Now when this is all installed upon the car, you're not going to actually see these. But once again, very nice and tight, which was our eventual goal. Now this is a fuel door that we took off of this car. Um, and as you can tell, it's really seen its better days. It's from an 81, and you see how it has the silver bird in here. What we did is we're creating a bandit clone, and so we needed a gold one, and we couldn't find a, a gold one through an aftermarket supplier. What many people don't realize, but the small sail panel birds offered in the Phoenix graphics kits that we offer, and we can also order these in all the, the colors separately for you, they fit right in. That's actually a sail panel bird. And we've reconditioned the tail light lens here. So as you can see, it's just night and day. It really looks good. This is an example of a five color bird, but you could say put a blue bird in there, or a red, or a gray, and give your car a nice little custom touch. Another product that we offer, and these are for the GM uh, factory fuel doors, these don't quite fit the new replacement fuel doors, and those are also available, but um, these fit GM. And all you do, turn the unit over, set it in place, and these spin nuts, you'll tighten them down of course, but they're going to sit right in and replace your rusted out GM ones. The GM spin nuts, the acorn nuts, had a tendency to rot out. Now that we've remounted the fuel door onto the car, you'll notice when you pull the tab, 
it pops open. And when you close it, it slaps shut. And what you see is basically on the spring in here, there's no tension. And if you remember, we used our roofing nails. Um, you can't see any of that at all uh, when the unit's installed upon the car, which is a nice thing. It's a good homemade remedy. We have our spin nuts on here. And one thing to note when you put the driver's side uh, tail light lens in, keep these a little loose and then line it up to the other on the passenger side. Make sure it sits pretty even. And then just as you open it, hold it tight with your hands, tighten them the rest of the way down. Now your car uh, fuel door is rebuilt, operates like new, and uh, just a quick and easy thing you can do at home to uh, refresh the look and uh, use of your Trans Am. Uh, check out our other technical videos on YouTube, uh, YouTube user F Body Warehouse Number One. Uh, that's F Body Warehouse and the number one all together is one. And shop for our products online at fbodywarehouse.com.